Was that your first time really meeting Jay-Z, or did you know him before Def Jam? No, no, I knew Jay from the street before that, but that was the time me and Jay got close. What was like, your first impression of him as a boss? Oh, I mean, I mean, when you... Don't say the right thing. I'm not saying just, the right just thing. Just say... It's, it's fucking... He, I'm he a street guy. He comes in the building. Listen, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Keep it 100. I'm a street guy. He's a street guy. I'm like, it's like everybody else. It's Jigga Man. You're like, yo, it's Jigga Man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Jay-Z has this aura. I don't give a shit who you are. You could be a billionaire. You could be Michael Jackson. You could be me. We all got the same reaction. Yo, it's Jigga Man. You're like, yo, I was with Jigga Man today. You know what I mean? Like, you know why he's so successful because... He's the guy when you walk up into a room, you the whole room feels him, you know? Mm -hmm. And not only that, but he's such a smart businessman and just a smooth, good dude and very welcoming, you know? Sometimes people probably don't think that he's welcoming because he's just very quiet and moves in silence, but he's just like, you know, he's, they call him the God MC for a reason. You were at Def Jam for how long? Uh, I probably was at Def Jam for like maybe 10 years. What are some of the... Give me the top two things that you learned from Jay directly, either being around him or things he said. Um, I, I think the, the definitely the one thing that I, 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 I learned from the, Jay initially was he's a man of his word. Loyalty means a lot. And when I say loyalty and a man of his word was when he first met me and as time went on where we toge together collectively as a team broke a bunch of acts, he was like, Peck. I want you to know something. I'm like, well, he's like, I'm going to empower you. And he was, I was like, yeah. And years later, he stuck by his word. And he didn't have really? to, you know? And I think when you're a man of your word and you say something, then you should follow through with that. And that's, that was the big thing that stuck with me. Um, the second thing that stuck with me, obviously, was you got to bet on yourself at times. So, you know, I worked for him for a long time, but I'm doing my own thing now because it's about generational wealth. So the two things I learned from him was, you know, being loyal. And if he said he was going to do something, he did it. He did empower me. And that ultimately, there's going to be a time in your life where you got to work for yourself and make yourself your own money. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.